Hey y'all, Noons here, and welcome back to Noons Airborne RC. And if it's your first time here, go ahead and smash that like and subscribe button so you can get notified for future content. Well, today, P47D Razorback, it's build day, guys. So let's go ahead and get started. Get some! All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and do the tail assembly. We're going to go ahead and need both sides of the elevator, obviously. And the screws are, um, they say HKA 3 millimeter by 15 millimeter. It's these tapered screws right here. It's uh, Phillips, and it's like a, um, a wood screw. Uh, it comes with three types of screws. It comes with these ones. It comes with a similar size M3 by 15 machine screw and a 65 millimeter for the wings. The 15 millimeters and the nuts are for the spinner, so make sure you've got the correct screws. So very simple guys, both of these, they're gonna go ahead and slide in and they're gonna go ahead and connect there in the middle. And then we're gonna go ahead and attach our ball link. So what we'll need next is we're gonna need our spar. And that's gonna be the thinnest one. So we'll go ahead and shove that through, right through the side and get that thing through. It's gonna be a nice tight fit because it's new in the first time. All right, there we go. All right, get that about centered out. So I went ahead and um, saw a few build videos and got a few tips um, I'll go ahead and share with you. Most of them from Pilot Ryan. Gotta give the man credit. Give anybody credit. If you steal anything or you use anything from somebody's channel, give them credit. Don't sit there and say it was your own idea. So I picked this trick up off of them uh, and it actually works on almost all my planes. We're gonna go ahead and get one side put in, screw it down, then we're gonna slide the other one. That way it doesn't go ahead and it pops out. Now, straighten this out, feed the spar back as far as it'll go. And we're bottomed out. Now we're gonna slide this side on the same way we did this side, except we're gonna we'll line this up when we meet the two elevators together. There we go. Test the elevator. And it's touching the horn. There we go. And then go ahead and pop this horn in. You got one horn underneath, guys, on this side of the elevator. Go ahead and pop that in. Ah, that's it. And there you go. That's the back end done. All right, guys, next is uh, the wings. So it comes with two spars, longer spar in the front. The wings are gonna go ahead and slide into this cavity. And the screw holes on here are right here on the inside. One, two, three, and four. And these will be the M3 by 65 millimeters. So let's go ahead and get these wings put on. All right, guys, that's it. Um, so a little key note on here, see if I can get this into the shot. These gear doors right here, 
up on the top, I noticed this when I was putting this wing in right here. Up on the top of the wing, you have the servo arm with one of the metal um, uh, control rods. And that's for that gear. The wing will go in a lot easier if from the top you push it down just to open up the gear slightly. Uh, seemed to work out really good that way. And then just go ahead and push it up and good to go. But yeah, four holes, four screws, and that's pretty much it for the wings. Now, let's go ahead and it's going in there a little tight. What's going on? Ah, got it. Okay. She goes in there really tight, guys. Not used to that, but such a nice fit. Great, great airplane. All right, uh, next part's gonna go ahead and be the spinner. All right, guys, for the next part, we're gonna be doing the spinner and the prop. You're gonna need your bag of goodies that have the prop. Also comes with some stickers. You're gonna need the M3 by 15 millimeter machine thread bolts, the four nuts, your hub, and your spinner. So let's go ahead and get started with this. All right, guys, we got our bag. Let's go ahead and take out our props. Need the stickers. Got two sets right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and match these up on the opposite ends. Take these two. And as you can see, they do have a little slot right there. And they get embedded right there, just like that. And then they'll sandwich in between the hubs and get lined up. Got a dimple for the first hole right there. And then the screw will go in right there and then we just tighten her up. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, went ahead and put her on. Uh, went ahead and tightened her down just uh, to the touch and then just a little bit. You don't want to torque this too much because you go ahead and you crack it. And uh, what do you think? That's a nice big spinner. Um, could I have done a little bit more to it? Yeah, I could have weighed each blade and try and get the closest weight to it, but it's a foam plane. Um, I, they had them in the bags. I put it in the way it is. Let's go ahead and get this thing mounted to the plane. All right guys, here's the front of the plane. And if you noticed right back here on the back side where the nuts are at, it's keyed right there in a the hexagon. That's what's gonna go up right here next uh, to the motor, pushed all the way up. So all we do is take this bad boy, slide it on, turn around so it gets keyed in. And we'll go ahead and we'll push her in a little bit. And we'll get the spinner. And this bad boy goes right here, it will get hand tight. And that's all we're gonna do. We're not gonna go ahead and tighten her up because the momentum of the engine will keep it from coming out. All right, guys, next thing is for the fuel pod mounts. Uh, the wings do slope up, and if you look at these, there is a little bevel. So you wanna match up and make sure you got the right side so it does go up and down. We're just gonna go ahead and use foam tack on this part right here. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to take our foam tack, we're going to go ahead and we're going to apply it liberally. A little bit on here. We're going to go ahead 
gonna pull it off. Let it breathe. Push it down. And she's on in it to win it. All right, let's go ahead and do the other side. Next will be the guns, and they are fatter on one side than narrower. They're keyed as well, so only one can go on uh, one side. And if you still have problems, the bigger cannon towards the inside. So we're going to go ahead and get our trusty foam tack. Back in. Take off the ring. Get her a good smush. All right, and that's it. Well, guys, that's uh, pretty much it. I wouldn't call it too much of a build. Um, she just went ahead and got put together. Um, I got the drop tanks right here. Uh, I'm going to put those on after I know the glues had a good time to set. Um, the first time I'm going to made in this bad boy, um, she will be stripped down. I won't have the cannons or the drop tank or anything. Just be flying her nice and clean. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, good, bad, go ahead. Give me some critique, something you would like to see more, a little bit or less of. Stay tuned, guys. Jet day this weekend and we'll be mating this bad boy as well. As always, take care. Noon's out. Get some.